has a, holds a very unique niche in that regard. We're a small organization, but we're very international. Um, small but mighty, I would say, in terror mechanics. Um, so we put together a, a memory book, and we called it Terror Mechanics Around the World, celebrating 50 years of ISTBS. Um, I just want to point out a few things in it to you. It talks a little bit about how ISTBS is formed and the leadership. It lists the past conferences. And then we have some um, pictures from the conferences, the technical tours that you heard about and we'll take tomorrow. And uh, some about the mobility research organizations in the U.S. that you heard about, the Land Locomotion Lab. There's pictures in here with Scotty Liston when he was practically an infant. Um, TARDAC when they first formed TACOM, the Soil Dynamics Lab in Auburn, um, Wes Crow, the Kimono Research Center, um, just very short uh, histories of those, some historic mobility drawings some, similar to what uh, General Hull showed from the tanks and initial mobility concepts way back when. So it's a pretty, we think it's a pretty fun book and I hope you enjoy it. And everybody that came to the conference is going to get a copy. They're over in the book, over in the corner at the table over here. And um, before we adjourn, I want to acknowledge a few people that uh, many people put a lot of hours into this, and many of them are in this room. So as I call your name, will you please stand up? And uh, Peter Kiss is co editor with, with me. Please stand. Yvonne Busterlin, Professor Joey Wong. Professor Tatiyama, uh, Dr. Richter, George Mason, Thomas Way, glad you could come. Thank you. <laughs> Pat Sullivan. Let's see. Uh, Professor Watanabe. Um, Renee Melendi. Uh, Professor Yamasi of General Hall. Randy Jones isn't here yet, I don't think, right? He will be here by tomorrow. Um, and, and that's it. And our uh, book designer and publisher is Jenna Dixon. So thank all these people. And then one last comment about the book. We also had, ICBS is also, Karina mentioned this earlier, about our, we have a companion program, and that's been always with the history of ISTBS. The spouses, used to be in the old days, they were all women spouses. Now there's sometimes men involved in that. <laughs> so the spouses, are the, we call it the companion program, they bring their children sometimes, and they have a good time also and mingle with us. And the social aspect of that is also a very important part of the organization. And they contributed also to this book. And one of the spouses, um, Brenda Dwyer, is, was the wife of Mike Dwyer, who was a president. And she sent me a letter because she contributed um, during the 25th anniversary. She did a, a cookbook, which is very international and very representative of ISTBS. She got recipes from all around the globe. And we thought that was really cool, but it was too many pages to put into the memory book. So we have the cookbook um, back, and it's a separate book in the back from the 25th anniversary. And I just want to read uh, some parts of her letter, because she talks about the camaraderie of the, com of the companions. Um, the first ISTBS she went to was in Calgary, in Canada. And that was three years before Mike and I did the Cambridge meeting, which was a great pleasure to host. She still writes to friends I made then, Karen, Paul, I don't know if Karen's back in the room or not. Um, Anna Mae Meltzer, uh, Greg Eriskug, until she passed. Um, several of the Japanese ladies she was still communi uh, communicating with. Dorothy Freetag and Virginia Taylor. So the women, while they toured while we were at the meetings, the women also got a very tight knit group. Um, she says she remembers. Um, she says, please say hello to everybody for me, and all, especially the people that I met in Cambridge and Calgary and all the conferences since. Um, it was nice to see that some of the people, Wata Hassan and Henry Hodges, along with Gunter and Zoltan on the draft agenda, and please send them my love. So I just wanted to let you know that's a strong part of our organization as well.